Welcome back YouTube. I am Brett Seidel, owner and principal designer of Lewis and Rose Interiors. And I'm really excited about our topic today, which is the top seven trends that we've been seeing over this past year. Um, some of them we've been implementing them, some of them we've been seeing um, in all of the magazines and showrooms that we've been going to. So we're gonna walk you through our seven favorite top trends that we're seeing this year. I'm Brett Seidel, the owner and principal designer of Lewis & Rose Interiors, a residential interior design firm located in booming Frisco, Texas. We are so excited to bring you everything from practical design tips and tricks, to fun room reveals, to informative interviews, and of course, a whole lot of really beautiful designs. Like, subscribe, and then comment with your thoughts and questions. We love hearing from you and can't wait to share with you some truly fun and inspiring content. So welcome. All right, so for the number one trend that we're seeing throughout this year is deep saturated colors in interiors. Moody is um, a word that we're hearing over and over. More moody rooms helps with that community vibe and that intimacy vibe. We're seeing lots of dark grays, dark blues. We're seeing a lot of dark rusts, oranges, warmer colors. Um, Plums. We just recently uh, did a proposal to do a deep plum bathroom that we were stoked about. Um, so we're seeing this kind of come in all shapes and forms for all different rooms in the house. All right, so for the second biggest trend that we're seeing, um, you know, the first one was talking about colors. This one is actually in regards to colors as well, and that is the use of monochromatic color schemes. And so that doesn't necessarily mean that it's like all um, white or all of the brights. It can be all dark colors, like um, really a scheme that is all within the same shade. So we're seeing this a lot where we're having like white walls and then cream sofa and um, a little bit creamier, light grays on the rugs. And so it's when you walk in a space and there's not one or two or three specific bold colors popping out, it's where everything is within the same tone, whether that's dark tones, light tones, or medium tones. So just monochromatic is something that we're seeing a lot and within that the use of a lot of textures when using monochromatic. All right, so third trend that we're seeing, craft rooms. This has become a huge trend right now, whereas last year the kind of room specific trend was home offices and um, she sheds was actually a big trend last year. But this year we're really moving into craft rooms. We're getting asked um, whether they're small or big. We've kind of had both, but those really specific rooms for those DIYers, the See, I, I don't even know how to say cry cut, cricket. You guys are probably gonna correct me in the comments. Um, for all of the sewing and embroidery and all of those things, just really intricate, detailed rooms and a place that moms can go and have all of that in their separate kind of mom space. Fourth biggest trend that we are seeing right now is statement ceilings. And so when I say statement ceilings, that can be really putting a splash of color up on the ceiling rather than the walls or using wallpaper or some type of texture on the ceiling or even doing kind of an architectural detail on the ceiling. That is something that we're seeing that we're using. I personally, of all of those, I love putting paint on the ceiling. You've heard me talk about that in other YouTube videos because it's the most cost effective way to give that kind of big wow factor. So putting paint on the ceilings, wallpaper, or any type of architectural de detail, but that's one of the biggest trends that we're seeing right now. Number five on our list is arches. I love that this has become a trend because with a lot of the um, new build construction that's going on, it's all very modern and specific and harsh lines. And so what we're compensating with is seeing really soft arches. And so we're seeing these a lot 
in kind of secondary walkways. And what I mean by secondary is like a walkway into a primary bedroom or a walkway into a pantry. It's just a way to kind of give that little bitty extra um, detail in a really simple way. So arches is something that we're seeing and we love implementing right now as well. Number six on our list is using multicolor in your kitchen. So what do I mean by that? It is um, coming away from these all white or all blue or all green kitchens and putting multiple colors on the actual cabinetry. So really the biggest trend within these multicolored kitchens is um, having kind of the uppers be one color, the base and the island be another color, and then also bringing in some warm wood tones in varying ways throughout. So when you walk in and you see kitchens that have this multicolor, um, it's just they're much more interesting and they're much more inviting. So we are seeing this all over the place and we've implemented it as well. All right, the last one in our top seven trends, and this is the one that if my mom watches this, she's gonna, she is going to text me or call me immediately and be like, I told you so. And that is the return to traditional. But it's not exactly what you think. The idea of returning to this um, maximalism, right? So we, we really came out of that from 70s, 80s, 90s with like really furniture was heavy and big and oversized and all the things, the colors, everything about it was big and oversized. And then we swung the pendulum all the way to the other side where everything is light and minimal and there's not much going on, right? So now we're kind of coming right back in the middle, this return to traditional. So we're seeing a lot of really detailed pieces going in an upholstery. We're seeing a lot of um, fringe actually going back on like sofas as a trimming where there's all these really beautiful details throughout. All right, so those are the top seven design trends that we are currently seeing and have been seeing kind of throughout this year and even up and coming. Um, drop us a line in the comment box. Are there trends that you've been seeing or actually trends that you hope will come in? Maybe you're one of those ones who you're really hoping red is gonna kind of come back in. Put those in the comments, we'd love to read those. And um, as usual, make sure you guys like and subscribe our channel so we can continue to put out content for you guys every week. And I will catch you next week on Sunday.